The display on the Nano v &A can be a little overwhelming. I'm going to walk you through how to set it up in order to do insertion loss testing and to get rid of the readings we don't need. Stick with me and we'll get, get through this and you'll see how easy it is. To begin with, most of the time when you power up your Nano v &A, the screen is going to look something similar to this one. It's going to have a lot of information you don't need for this particular reading. The only thing that we're going to be interested in is the S21 log mag. So let, let's go into the menu, just tap anywhere on the screen, and then go into display, trace, and right now we do have S21 log mag on here, which is on the yellow trace, which is trace zero. So we really just want to turn off all the rest of them for this particular reading. So we'll turn off trace one, tap on it, turn off trace two, turn off trace three. So now the only display we have here, the only trace that's being displayed is S21 log mag. And that's what we're going to use to measure our insertion loss. And we're going to use the same setup that we have to measure the insertion loss on our transformers that we've been building. And that's this setup here, which is, we've got the signal coming out from port one that will go into our first transformer. And depending on the state of your current transformer, you may need one of these breakouts where you can put in two different leads here, or you may even have to use a PL259 or SO239 connector as we have here. Now th this is a transformer that I just recently reworked. It's a 49 to one, but now it's a two core, which will handle a couple of hundred watts, no problem. Unless you're running digital, you may wanna make sure you don't overheat it, but uh, it should handle a hundred watts, no problem with digital. But for SSB, it should handle two or 300 watts. And this is on the FT24043 cores, 14.2 with a tap on the, on the second turn and a, a tight wind 49 to one transformer. And this also has a TDK capacitor. And I, and I write this on here because I've got different types. I wanna know which one is which. And this, this helps me out. Of course, I can take the case off, but if, if I want to quickly just look, I can look and tell what it is. We're sending the signal out into here. Then this is connected. As you can, as you can see here, it's connected from, from the antenna to the antenna of these two back-to-back -back transformers. And we also have the ground lead connected here to both transformers. So that's what we're going to be measuring. Let's get back to the Nano v &A. So that was our test rig, what we're going to be measuring. But we want to turn off the rest of these traces. Turn off trace one. Turn off trace two. So the only thing we've got left is trace zero, which is S21 log mag. And whatever trace you have selected, if you want to change what it's measuring, go ahead and select a trace, go back, then go to the format. All right, so since we're using the S21 port or port two, this is what's measuring. So we want to use the S21 format. So you see here, you've got the S11 format, which is it, that is saying that it's measuring on port one and it's transmitting on port one. Here, we're measuring on port two, we're transmitting on port one. We want to go in to the format, click on it, and here you can select what it is you want to measure. And what we're wanting is log mag. We could get a Smith chart if we selected that, polar chart, linear graph, and own. But what we're interested in is log mag. So let's touch on log mag and go back, go back, and just click somewhere on the screen to get rid of your menu. So now you're set up to measure S21 log mag. You can see right here, it says S21 log mag. This is 10 dB per division. Uh, you may be able to see right here, uh, I'll move this marker out of the way. 
you see this little yellow pointer right here, this little yellow diamond. That's your zero line. The line above is plus 10, and then it goes down with by 10 dB for each division you go down. But that's the zero line. So we can see here we're at 3.827 <clears throat> down in the 80 meter band and we've got a negative 1.48. We run that on up to the 40 meter band and there's 7.235. We've got a negative 1.35 there. And you can go through your different frequencies check them out going up to 14 they're at 14267 we got a negative 1.2 or thereabouts but you can run through your different bands now th this this whole scan is 1 through 30 megahertz as it shows down here i've got 1 megahertz as my start frequency i've got 30 megahertz as my stop frequency now what i could do is go to my recall i've got my different frequency ranges my bands programmed in and stored so I, I don't have to recalibrate every time I calibrated with the cable setup like I run it where I always use these six inch cables and I'm calibrated out to the ends of those cables so let's let's look at seven megahertz and here we've got s21 log mag I believe it changed colors but not a problem that's just how this one is stored and we can move this up. I've got the entire 40 meter band here. Let's move this up to 7.23. Okay, I've got this moved up to 7.230. And you can see we've got a loss through both of these transformers of negative 1.12. You do the same measurements on each of the bands. You can go through and z uh, make sure that you've got your nano VNA calibrated and each band stored whatever bands you want to put out here and what frequency ranges. You don't have to use the exact band frequency ranges. You can go a little bit outside of each band. If you want to see, you know, 500 KC above or below, however you want to do it. These are set, I believe, on the actual limits of the bands. But it's not required that you do that, obviously, because I've got all the way from 1 to 30 megahertz up here. Now, th this will get you good ballpark readings, but if you want to get, get the most precise readings you can, you need to program the individual bands, and you need to program the 401 points that uh, we went over in a previous video. You can go back and look at that video to see how to do that. This is just to show you how to, to go into log mag so you can do insertion losses Hopefully this has been helpful. There will be links to other videos that will show up on the screen to help you out more with the Nano VNA. Click on one of those. I'm sure you'll like what you see. This is Kilo Mike 4, Zulu Kilo Bravo saying have a blessed day.